you know, in my opinion, cops should never be out on social media because of the nature of the type of work they do, you know, because we have seen cops show a lot of racial bias whenever they post out on social media. And we have seen many of them get exposed for what they're doing. And I'm going to say this again, you cannot train this out of anybody. You just can't. You know, police corruption is rampant in America and they have never done enough about it. That's why you see it spiraling out of control so much now. And I, I think because we are on social media, we are seeing a lot of these patterns over and over. So this came out in the Atlanta Black Star, June 7, 2019. Database uncover Facebook posts exposing pattern of racism among Phoenix cops, including thanking George Zimmerman for killing Trayvon. Well, that in itself is a problem, ladies and gentlemen. It really is. But... America wants their cops to be a certain way. They like that they have this nasty streak out on the streets and, you know, they handle us a certain way that's different from everybody else. They like that. They like that they're treated with respect and we're not. Let's face it. If they did not like this kind of stuff, ladies and gentlemen, you wouldn't see it happening. They like it. I tell you what, any cop that is out there thanking George Zimmerman for anything should not be on the street at all with a gun. I would never trust that cop with a weapon on the street at all. So they're talking about um, one post from a Phoenix, a Phoenix police officer, Joshua Ankert, Pat's former Sanford, Florida Neighborhood watch George Zimmerman on the back for killing unarmed teenager Trayvon Martin in 2012. That cop should not even be on any force. He should not be eligible to be a cop anywhere. That is just pure hatred and it's unjustifiable. And, you know, and we got to shut these people down on all this. Well, we, we it's a training issue. They know damn well before they get their mouth open, it's not a training issue. Racism is not a training issue and you can't make it into one either. So this cop, Joshua, went out there and congratulates George Zimmerman. Thank you for cleaning up our community. One thug at a time he wrote in response to Zimmerman being acquitted of murder uh, murdering the 17 year old. He should have been off the force. He should have been off the force because, you know, he's showing clear bias. So you can see the actual tweet here from 2013. And why did it take you so long to pull up a tweet from, you know, for something he did in 2013? Kind of slow there, y'all. Another post. Um, a police officer, David Pallas, in June 2016, was a meme he shared of uh, former First Lady Michelle Obama. Every day I wake up in a house that was built by slaves. Below it, a photo of the late actor John Wayne, who, was, uh, who has made headlines for his racist comments, was included. It read, then get out and take your gay Muslim husband with you. So you can see this cop's post right here. And this was June 12th, 2016. Well, John Wayne is their legend. He certainly ain't my legend. Don't miss him. Obama's husband, former President Barack Obama, was also not spared. He was included in a meme with Looney Tunes character Elmer Fudd shooting his head off. After he tells the fictional character 
I'm here for your gun. Okay, if first of all, you know, these folks are the silliest people I've ever met in my life. They have been talking about someone taking their guns since I was a child. In fact, my grandmother said they were talking all that crap years ago when she was young. Ain't seen nobody go around door to door taking no gun. But they've been on this crap for a long time, and I don't even pay attention to them when they start talking all that garbage. Ain't happened even once. You just got a, a bunch of paranoid people with guns, and that's the problem in America. You want my gun, Barack? Here you go. It, and here's the caption. Okay. None of these cops should be on the streets. Reuben Carver III, who has been on the force since 2002, said in March 2011 Facebook post, it's a good day for a chokehold. So we know these things are happening. I'm not surprised. I mean, Phoenix police is just like every single damn department across America. This is not just limited to Philadelphia, Phoenix, and New York, NYPD. It's not limited to that. This is a nationwide problem they have in America. And you notice the biggest targets of their racial hatred is towards Black people. Not surprised, y'all. But see, whenever we raise these issues, they want to act like you're a racist for talking about it. That's bullshit. Okay. <laughs> you talking about something does not make you racist. Get out of here. So anyway, th these are the, you know, what they call it, the Jedi tricks that they keep playing on everybody. And see, when we talk about the cops being racist, we ain't making this stuff up. And if you don't want it to be true, then why are you leaving so much evidence for people to go to? to drive home that case about cops in America. If you don't want to be viewed that way, then don't be out on social media leaving all kinds of evidence that say you are that way. Ladies and gentlemen, this type of policing in America is never gonna end. It's never gonna end. You know, not unless something really drastic happens. But with all of these police unions in place, don't hold your breath on anything happening. You know, if there is going to be a change to the police department in America, it's going to have to come from the public. It's definitely not going to come from within. You, you saw the story I put out yesterday, the NYPD. Every time somebody file a complaint, they claim the complaint is invalid. So they block you from even filing complaints on these cops. And it shouldn't be that way at all. And, and, and this is really the government of this country's fault because they have set so many laws into place, making cops damn near untouchable. And ladies and gentlemen, look at policing in other countries. Nobody, nobody puts cops on that kind of pedestal like they do here in America. America is the only place on this planet that is more concerned about protecting a cop than the people that are paying taxes out here in the public. Got things kind of ass backwards, don't they? Please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. You know, I know this is about Phoenix police, but it is far from just them. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.